Hello, kiddos. How are y'all doing today? I hope you had a good night of rest and maybe it's morning and you're having breakfast or maybe you've already had breakfast and you're in your day. Well, I hope it's a good day. And let's continue our story of the creation in the book of Genesis. Now, the last time we saw the very first day of creation when God separated the light from the darkness and then he gave it names and he called it day and night. And that's all there is so far. So now we're going to come to the next day and let's see what God does. We're going to read three verses, Genesis 1, 6, 7, and 8. The Bible says, Then God said, Let there be a firmament in the midst of the waters. What is a firmament? Well, a firmament is, let's just call it for now, air. Okay, a space in the middle of the waters. And let it divide the waters from the water. So now we have waters and we have space and we have waters again. Thus God made the firmament, that space, and divided the waters which were under the, the space from the waters which were above the space, and it was so. Okay, this is a little hard to understand, but... Let's just believe God knows what he's saying. He did it. He knows exactly what he means, and we don't always at first. Sometimes we learn it later on, but right now, all we know is that there's a there's day and night, and then there's water and air or space and water. And then verse 8 says, And God called the firmament heaven. Aha! So the space, that air, is what we call heaven, the sky. So the ev evening and the morning were the second day. So now we have two days, and we have day and night happening. Then we have water and heaven and more water. Wow, this is very different. This is very strange. And you know what? We're missing a lot of things. There are no trees. There are no people, there are no mountains, so all of this still has to come, and we'll see how God does it. We don't know exactly why God did things in the order that he did them, but he always knows what he's doing. He always does well. Everything he does is good, and everything he does is done in the right way, even in your life today. Whatever God brings to you, he knows what he's doing, and sometimes even when things hurt, God still has a purpose in them. And so we never want to doubt God's goodness. He is always good, although we don't always understand what he's doing. Okay? So, we have seen day one, the day and the night. We have seen day two, that is the water and heaven, waters and heaven. And next time we'll see what happens on the third day. Okay? Goodbye. Love you.